Okay, greetings everyone. This is First Centurion 753 with the next episode of Geopolitical Simulator Power and Revolution 2018 version playing as the uh, All Roads Lead to Delhi scenario. We have a meeting. Who is this guy? Conformist Right Coalition President in Nepal. Okay, so we have a meeting with Nepal. Coming up soon. Uh, there's been a lot of debate on the channel about um, how I should approach this. A lot of people still want me to be um, uh, benevolent or uh, warm towards uh, Pakistan and Bangladesh. Some people are saying I want to go ahead and conquer. There's definitely a war hawkish element on this channel, I'd say. Uh, but there are others that are pushing for peace. And there are doves as well. I appreciate all comments from both sides and both factions. Uh, but again, as I've said before, I think the best comment uh, was by Harry Forsyth, uh, who said that um, taking on these countries is going to, if we do conquer them, it will be uh, devastating to our GDP per capita, which is already pretty bad. That is a horrible GDP per capita. That is less than 2000 a year for India. So, <laughs> sorry to disappoint. Um, at this moment, I don't think I'm moving towards war with Bangladesh or Pakistan. I'm going to try to uh, play it a little safer here. I do want to try to explore more of the 2018 um, components on this, uh, or additions um, to the game. Uh, that was that, that was a request on the channel. Um, I'm gonna get my comments up here. See who requested what. Um. Aaron uh, DeCarthy wants more uh, action uh, as far as uh, what we're doing with. 2018 features um, and I did bring in a little bit of the internet I think there's also the space research which I do want to take some time and look at that as well here's all the internet infrastructure here we did add a little bit values are expressed in percentage and um, the little bit that we did add uh, vastly improved our popularity. We have number of internet users. I think that was available in the last one. Average speed of the internet. That's one thing that we doubled. That's something new. Um, so that's that. Uh, space research. This is pretty cool. I do want to look into this a little bit more. Um, but I am dealing with a lot of terrorism, I think, um, early on. This is cool. All the different. Uh, space programs that have existed, I guess. It seems like these are all the different missions that have existed. Asteroid redirect mission. Oh man, they're gonna try to redirect an asteroid? I wonder if there's an asteroid uh, apocalypse scenario on this. Cape Canaveral. Um, yeah, I think I've gone over a lot of this stuff. You can do a God and Spy version. Um, and they're going on, on on their own. I would assume there's a way to tie in diplomacy into this space program. But again, these are a lot of lot of the uh, solar system that we can explore here. I don't know what this is. Ah, here it is. All right, so this creates another space program. I don't think I have the money right now to invest in more space exploration. We do have our current missions that uh, exist. Human Space Flight Program. Uh, this one is 2024. Um, launch date. And you can go in here and you can see the specifics. And it looks like we have all our requirements. Amount financed by partners, amount financed by initiator. Looks like we're totally funded. Having initiated this program. Who are my partners? It doesn't say what my partners are. Or do I have partners in this? India is current. Seems like we have all the technology required. 
Living in space. We're going to send a manned mission to space. Oh, there's our, our partner, Russia. Russia's our partner on this one. So that's good. Uh, that's good for our diplomacy there, I think. Um, the other two... We were... Oh, the moon. The moon is the one that we just launched a few episodes ago. Uh, space exploration with a... Uh, space probe exploration robot on the way to the moon. Uh, construction launch of space probe. We already went over this. Interest is three stars. That's good. Um, back it up, and then there's the last one. This is a Mars mission. Launch date, 2022. It is spending sending a space probe that will land on a celestial body in the solar system. The probe will carry a rover. It would be cool if we beat someone else to another planet. This is a lot of a lot of interest. Like, what if I beat somebody to? Or can I go to one of the Jupiter's moons? No. What is this? No, this is back to the solar system. Oh, we can go to some of the moons. This could be cool. I wonder if you could discover life. There's a moon. Europa. Okay, so there are some of Jupiter moons here. That's a Saturn moon, Titan. There is a mission to Titan. So, just going over some of the space uh, stuff again. Launch pads. We have a launch pad. This is different areas. We should probably be funding more of this. Uh, so, I just wanted to go over that. <clears throat> um, to go over that feature a little bit. Uh, with taxation, our budget deficit is $56 billion. We are working that down. And I don't think there's any new uh, forms of taxation. These are all ones that have existed in the past. The big thing I need to focus on, I think, is going to be the Secret Service element here and the terrorism. Cybersecurity, uh, launch a military cyber attack. People are urging uh, that I do some sort of cyber attack. Launch a cyber protection, launch a massive cyber attack, launch a cyber attack to rig a foreign election. Ooh, I think I'll do that one. Um, this sounds interesting, actually. India Communist League. India. Iraq. I want to go to... Bhutan is not running anything. What about Nepal? Or what about Bangladesh? Bangladesh could be a good one to manipulate. Nope, not Nepal. Bangladesh. Where is that? I don't want to favor the Communist Party either. That's not me. I'm right wing. Belgium election. Bangladesh. Alright, so maybe we'll try um, in Bangladesh. Or what about Pakistan? I could try to rig an election in one of those countries. That might prompt the war. Ooh. Ooh. This could happen. This is coming up. Afghanistan is another one I want to look into. All right, so let's see. Pakistan. Maybe this will appease some of the war hawks out there if I do a Pakistan Workers' Party. Ah, nice. Who do I want to support here? Conservative Liberal Party. Who has the most likely chance of winning? That's something I have to look up. Pakistan, who do we got here? Conservative right wing, they are right wing. Regime is religious. Who's this guy? Eh, it doesn't tell me the political party. Ah, conservative right is political persuasion. National Muslim Union. I need more information. I need information about their uh, parliament. Not enough information is given about the country in this game. I would like to know how many seats are controlled by different political parties. I wish I could, but I guess I can't find that out. But I guess I could go with cyber attack um, to sort of appease people out there, appease the requests being made on the channel. Secret Service, was it under Secret Service? Yeah, there it is. 
launch a cyber attack to rig a foreign election. This might start a war, which could end um, things pretty quickly. Cryptography and cybersecurity. Maybe I should improve that before I actually do this. 360 million. Oh, and the other suggestion, uh, thank you, Andrew Addy, uh, pointed out that um, one of the reasons we were having so much difficulty putting down those riots is because our police are pretty weak. Uh, so I think I could increase my security rate. I didn't want to spend more than a billion. Uh, we should definitely get head of state. That's 152. Public safety, I think I want to try to get two stars there at least. 360. Um, I don't want to go over 700, 700 million here. Cybersecurity, that's important. Drug task force, local police. Yeah, let's try to bring them up a little bit. Okay. Um, fight against illegal immigration. I could probably reduce that. That might be favorable, actually. 690. So local district police, hopefully. That will improve our ability to fight the rioters. So that's about a billion dollars spent there on cybersecurity, local police, security head of state, general public safety. All right, so a little bit of investment. No current problems exist. Clear state of emergency, ID checks. We don't need any of this stuff. Okay, so secured up my um, defenses here, and I guess I'm gonna go ahead and rig the election in Pakistan. I wonder if that'll cause a war. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. And we'll see what happens. I guess. Cyber security. Launch cyber attack to rig for an election. Not them. I don't know if I want... That's the party in power. I wish I could see how influential these parties... Oh, here we go. Nice. There are. Results from last election is 3%. Number of seats, four out of four, 342. Yeah, that's not really. Um, ultra liberal. It's a conservative liberal party. Pakistan Muslim League. Pioneering party. Pakistan Social Front. They sound like very left wing parties, except for this guy, I guess. And they're the party in power, so if they win, then uh, they'll probably stay in power, right? So we shouldn't have too much of a problem. Last results from last election, they got 40 percent. Um, I guess I can try. Maybe this will improve relations. Even though ah, we don't have good relations with them, and I got a phone going off in the background, which I'm not going to answer. Pillar of Islam political group. No, not a lot of support there. What was that? Customer service? I don't know who's calling me. I will back this party. This does, I don't know if this makes sense to back this party. Let's just see what happens. Okay, I did also want to set up meetings. Uh, I was planning on doing a cyber attack down here in Maldives and actually crashing their economy. So this was the one uh, country that I was really going to go after. I want to meet with them and see, what our, see if we can make any trade deals that are not favorable to them. And Sri Lanka is another one. Take over their industries. That was the proposed strategy for crashing a country's economy. Here we go. I think that election. Ooh, man. Duly noted. Copy that. We are going to start the process. Oh, boy. Unfortunately, our network implanted in that country is scheduled for another operation and cannot help us in this one. It's a bit of a job. What is that supposed to mean? I don't know what that means. 
your commitment to defending family values is a model for the whole of humanity. Good, we got anti-terrorism, security, and uh, human rights, because we reduced the political party, I think. This is a right-wing coalition in Nepal. We want them I'm to... I'm listening carefully. How much would this aid amount to? Mm, that is $2.4 million. Thank you for your precious support. I can assure you that my government is getting ready to live its last hours. Okay. Luxembourg has abandoned their Mercury LU-1 space program. Oh, they are losing the space race. Another person out of the race. And we are still in it. So, that is good news for us. Oh boy. Prime Minister, our cyber attack was not effective. Ah! There are too few web servers in the country and too little social network activity. So you need to have a country that apparently is, um, has a highly developed internet infrastructure for a electoral cyber attack to work. That's interesting to know. Our governmental cell informs me that it has had the opportunity to approach this potential... Oh yeah, Chinese guy. We'll have somebody in the Chinese... Uh, a mole in the Chinese government. That's good. Alright, so I hope, uh, hope that taught you guys something. Who was proposing that? Um, yeah, Aaron. I uh, hope, uh, hope that uh, was informative for you there. Lithuania wants to meet. What am I going to do with Lithuania? I'll take the meeting. I don't know if I want to deal with Lithuania because I'm, I'm closely allied with the uh, Russians. All right, who's this? Moldavs. Aha! All right, I want to take a look at Moldavs, actually. What do they produce? They don't produce a lot of things. Automobiles. Let's see. Their automobile business... What businesses could we run out of business, I guess, is the idea. I don't know if this is actually going to work. A lot of bananas. Cement. Electricity. They have no electricity. Fish. Fish is one of their biggest things. Jewelry. I'm not 100% certain how this is supposed to work. They produce a lot of gas. I don't want to buy their stuff. If I can get a really low natural gas price. I guess we want to try to drive it almost below what their actual price is. Too many negotiations. All right. Natural gas and fish seem to be the two dominant industries. In this country, paper, extra paper. Tobacco. Water supplies, wood. They got a pretty good amount of wood. Alright, so if I could sell them extra fish or extra natural. I don't know if I have any natural gas. I do have natural gas, but I don't have enough. So I really can't sell off my natural gas. Fish. I have more fish. They don't want any of my fish. They have enough fish. I don't know how this strategy is supposed to work. Crashing the economy. I'm going to have to look into this a little bit more and figure it out myself. Um, I do want to set up meetings. Oh boy. It's true that the blow cannot really be described as fatal. 
two arrests. Okay. But the three-way analysis that I have carried out using the Watts model demonstrates that undermining the organizational potential of the group will introduce a non-negligible danger value that will no doubt weaken this network one day. Okay. Prospective analysis, coupled with the Brown model on group psychotectonics, has allowed us to identify a potential ally. Hmm. In this case, a terrorist group that we have already approached. Sure. Well, do I want to do this? This would, might spark a war. Or give just cause for them to go to war with me. I don't think I want to do this. Erase. Uh, for them to get a UN mandate against me. That's what I'm worried about. I don't want UN mandates. I could place, like, embargoes and stuff on these countries, or maybe even Maldives, to really shut down their economy. That's probably the best way to do it. Place an embargo on these guys. But I think I really just want to conquer these guys, expanding my influence into the Indian Ocean, and try to appease situations in Pakistan and Bangladesh. Integrate Bangladesh, and I also want to extend integration north uh, into the central um, Asian countries, and Russia. Russia is a potential ally for us. If you look at the diplomacy screen here, our main allied countries, Uzbekistan, Australia, Russia, Armenia, that's part of the Russian sphere, Serbia, also part of the Russian sphere, Japan, which is not part of the Russian sphere, interesting, Azerbaijan, uh, Luxembourg, Denmark, and uh, Netherlands. No Belgium there. Almost had all the Be Benelux countries. So we have some European allies, Central Asian allies, and I almost want to try to extend influence further into Central Asia to try to get, maybe even create a Central Asian bloc. And I would like to extend pipelines, actually. Because I know Russia and other of these countries have uh, oil and natural gas reserves somewhere around here. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Back it up. That's what I wanted. I know there's oil and natural gas reserves here. If I can get pipeline access through the Himalayans... What is that? This looks like a pipeline. No. That is a railroad. No pipeline. These are the this is a pipeline here. This is something. Gas. A gas well. Saudi Arabia. Perspective analysis, coupled with the Brown model on group psychotectonics, has allowed us to identify a potential ally. I don't want to approach them. Okay, so I want to try to extend my influence into Central Asia somehow. That would be interesting, getting a linking over that highway. I don't think we can to the mountains. I guess that is where the pipeline is. So we'd end up having to build a pipeline through Uzbekistan <clears throat> and Tajikistan. I'm not sure that's worth it. But if we were to do it, we'd have to go through Afghanistan at least. So let's set up a meeting with the Afghans and see if I'm gonna push this back a little bit. Probably to we'll do this in June. Meet with the Afghans, see if we can support them anyway. They are fighting two conflicts. Uh, the Mujahideen, two different Mujahideen groups it looks like. And what is this? Afghanistan versus Pakistan? They're fighting each other? They're at war? Operation. Our infiltrated agent was spotted and murdered. Okay. Uh, I should probably take a look at my terrorist files. Um... Yeah, I want to extend influence here into Central Asia. Let's meet with the Uzbekistanis. That's the Uzbeks or Uzbekistanis? Um, we'll push this meeting into June as well. Change date, June 16th. And they're one of our best allies. They're the only green country we have here. I'd also like to meet with the Tajikistan. And maybe Kazakhstan too. See if we can try to extend influence into Central Asia. Change this date to June 30th. And then the Kazakhstanis. Is... 
change this, move this into July. There we go. All right, we'll schedule a meeting with uh, Central Asian countries. Bargain concluded with the Minister of Transport in China. Beautiful, he's now in our pocket. The theory that says if E1 doesn't like E2 and E2 doesn't like E3, then E1 and E3 could be Political friends. party in so Bangladesh, just... yes. I will meet with them and I will back them to try to sway uh, the political party into my favor in Bangladesh. They are socialist. If I can get a right-wing party in office, then uh, we could definitely do a lot more damage. Uh, let's take a look at the terrorist file. I got about probably five more minutes left in this episode. Um, that's in Secret Service. There we go. Terrorists. All right, we definitely want to resume infiltration there and there. Um, file. Currently monitoring. Nothing illegal going on there. I'm going to pause this uh, so I can check through all these guys. India Communist Forces. The file here. Hello, there it is. Um, make inquiry where to get a van. Uh oh, sounds like a car bomb. Sign up for contact sport, no big deal. Violent film, not good, I guess. Join forum on bomb making website. Bought second mobile phone, a burner. Alright, played first person shooter video game. Bought a mini cam. Contact sport. This one seems to be a lot more active. Saw a violent film, but nothing that would really incriminate them. So, I don't think I can arrest anybody there. That's the Indian Communist Kashmir Autonomy League. Monitoring. Signed up for contact sport. Mobile phone. A lot less action going on here, less to be concerned with. Movement of Hindu fighters. This is the ones we were looking at. Gone to Baker's twice a day. Ah, uh, he looks thin for that. Um, and we're not really monitoring a lot of people here, are we? Maybe we should monitor some more people. All right, place them under surveillance. Surveillance. Surveillance, surveillance, and I guess we'll leave one more for somebody else. A lot of people in these organizations. Oh, we saw that one. Uh, last one is the Total Jihad. File here. We are monitoring a number of people here. Relationship with a greeter at a major store. Joined a forum. Ordered sex toys. Ah, oh, I remember that. Um... What do we got here? Nope, 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 nope. Let's add another guy. Let's monitor another guy here. Maybe I should... There are no more teams to monitor. Maybe I should stop monitoring certain people and reallocate my teams. Sri Lanka. I don't know what to do with this one either. I really don't know what to do. You should make... Oh, let's do that. Most amusing coming from you. You would be better off cleaning up outside your own front door. Nah, I'm done with them. Oh, that was an insult. So, did that have an, an impact on us meeting with the Sri Lankans? It's been about 30 minutes. One of my men succeeded in infiltrating Key Center. Oh no, a scandal! According to my calculations, the informational gain, in geopolitical terms, could be close to 2.73 on Saks graphic. Alright, we're going to pause this here. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Feel free to leave comments down, the, down below. Let me know what you think. Like the video if you did. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitch with the link below. Or support me on Patreon if you want to see more videos or any special requests. If you want like a space program named after you, back me on Patreon, I'll do it. Uh, if you want a specific law pass, back me on Patreon, I'll do it. 
Um, anything like that. Alright, or if there's any other games you'd like to see played. Right now, uh, a lot of requests for different series, but I don't really have a ton of time to get stuff done. Of course, if somebody uh, requests a series on Patreon, I will definitely do it. Um, for backing me for as little as a dollar a month, you can get a series of your request. Uh, but for the most part right now, I'm kind of busy. And uh, if I don't get back to you right away, I apologize, but I will get back to you eventually if you do ask a question. I'll try to get back to you eventually if you do ask a question. Uh, and if I don't, just keep asking and I'll get back to you eventually. Thanks for watching, guys. I uh, will see you in the next episode.